A certain store sells all maps at one price and all books at another price. On Monday, the store sold 12 maps and 10 books for a total of $38. So stop right there. I'm going to say that M is the price of a map, B the price of a book. And so on Monday, we sold 12 maps, 12M, plus 10 books, 10B, and that equaled $38. On Tuesday, the store sold 20 maps, 20M, and 15 books, 15B, for a total of $60. So notice what I have here is two equations and two unknowns. At this store, how much less does a map sell for than a book? So what we're expecting when we solve for everything, we're expecting that books cost more and we want to know what is a book minus a map. So we'll put that aside for a moment. We have two equations with two unknowns. One strategy would be to solve one equation for one unknown and plug that into the other. But that looks like it's going to run into some really messy fractions here. Instead, I notice these two coefficients of b it's very easy to find the least common multiple of them. The least common multiple of 10 and 15 is 30. So I'm going to exploit that fact. I'm going to multiply this bottom equation times 2. And what I wind up with is 40m plus 30b equals 120. Every single term gets multiplied by 2. I'm going to multiply the top equation by negative 3. I'm going to multiply by a negative so that I can simply add and cancel. Multiply by negative 3, I get negative 36m minus negative 30b equals negative 114. 114 is 3 times 38. So now I can simply add these two equations together and I wind up with 4m this plus 0, the 30b's cancel, equals 6. So 4 maps would equal $6. And then dividing, a map would be 6 over 4, that's 3 over 2, or as a decimal, that's 1.5. A map costs $1.50. So then plug that into one of the equations. I'll plug that into the second equation. 20 times 1.5. Well, that's 30. So if I have 20 maps, that costs $30 plus 15B, that costs $60. So subtract 30 from both sides, subtract the cost of the map. What we get is 15B, 15 books equals $30, or in other words, a book equals $2. So now we have the values of the individual variables. A book costs $2. A map costs $1.50, and so that means a book costs 50 cents more than a map. This is answer choice B.